Thank you for joining us today. My name is Maurizio Caporelli, and I am one of the process technicians here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a space frame for an Aero 90 machine. We have six major components that you have to keep in mind. The doctor blade, which is made out of a carbide material. Very important to keep over a table whenever you're working with, because it's very hard and fragile. We have the space frame unit, which everybody, everything will assemble into, including this here ring, rubber ring for suspension, in order to doctor well. And also the liner, which is uh, the container where we'll have our ink in, so that we can have uh, the machine set up with whatever type of ink you're using. The setup table has setup clamps that, which are magnetic in order to keep everything together once we load the printer with our plate. And this is the decorating plate we're going to be using today. We're going to put this in the machine. And also our express pad in our printer. So we're going to start here with our components here to set up our cup. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we have a soft spacing for the doctor blade. Like I said, work over the table, put the uh, sharp side down. The liner itself, you need to put that over the blade, push into position. And you'll notice too that the inside of this has fill lines, uh, quarter, half, and three quarters of the way or full is the top line. Okay. At this point now we have the doctor blade already assembled into the liner. Then we take the space frame and we put the uh, rubber o-ring in it. That's for the suspension and then we add the liner with the doctor blade assembled. The, mag the magnets will go inside the setup table, facing down. This is where we get our pressure for our space frame. Make sure these are loose. We put our space frame, this is where our pin settings will be, which will be lined up into the printer. So we put that inside the setup table. We keep the little flap thing in the back for your, your finger slot and removal of the blade, which we'll see later when I clean up the blade. Then we tighten this down, secure the magnetic clamps, so that when I put my plate on the setup table, it's contained just like that. Then I loosen this up, and I have the entire assembly set up, just like this. I will add the ink now. And what I want to do is set back this back down, tighten that up. Let me show you how we remove the, uh, the plate. I will add the ink now with viscosity. We'll add some thinner. About 15 to 20 percent is probably what you'll need to make most applications work. You can use a scale. The gram scale is always good to use to keep things uh, in perspective. As far as a good recipe, we put the right inside there. out and load it into the printer. Okay, now we're going to load the plate and space frame and liner into the machine. We raised our safety guards. Now we're going to load the plate with the space frame into the printer. We want to make sure that we lock the plate down. This is the side gate that pushes the plate into the pins on the side and back and this one locks it in position. 
Now you want to remember pressure at all times, so make sure that you put pressure on with the printer. Now we have pressure with the printer on the space frame so I can remove my magnetic clamps that were set for the setup. Put that on the setup table. We put our press pad on. Lower our safety guards. Looks like a pretty good doctor. Little bit of pad delay. And there's an image. We were set up for Don Dwell, which we can remove. I'll take another print. We have all of our images. I'll show the removal. Okay, we're gonna go to, we're done with production. We're gonna go to the disassembling of the cliche and the, this pad system, our, our setup, so we can get back to uh, Move the pad just like that, it's magnetic. I like to loosen up the side gear, the front gear, lock down for the cliche. At this point, I have nothing else that puts pressure on the machine, so when I, again, you need pressure at all times, so that's when the magnetic clamps come out. We loosen up the pressure now with the printer. Just go ahead and remove the plate, just like this, and go over to our setup table. Okay, so now we come back to our setup table to get ready for our next setup. So, drops inside our setup table like this. You want to lock it in position. Slide your plate off so it comes out fairly clean. You don't have that much to wipe. The liner comes out like this. And you can keep this whole assembly in here. You do not have to take it out unless you needed to clean something, but it should stay fairly clean. Um, so right now, I will just wipe down the plate. Just like this. So this will be all set, ready to go. And now we'll get ready with the next setup here. And what I like to do is use a mixing stick because it's made out of wood. And you just kind of press down on the liner a little bit with your finger all the way around just to loosen it up a little bit. Then I take my stick, do the same thing, go around it and just take it off and put it upside down on top of my stainless steel table. This then you can, if it's single component, you can save the ink or start new. But now that I have this here, I have to clean the blade, correct? So what you have to do is pretty much get two paper towels. And I'll show you how quickly you no longer need a cleanup tank. You have two paper towels like this. You get them all both wet. Grab the blade around and the sharp side is facing me and it's away from my fingers and this is pretty much very clean and ready to go Keep out for safety and then kind of clean off your table. And at this point, you can go grab a new liner and uh, get ready for a new setup. Again, paper towel, put a new liner on, put it in here on the setup table. 
and off you go. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us today. I'm glad that you can uh, be here and see the steps for our express line. Thank you.